Okay, hey, hi, welcome back to DennisRC.com. Um, a lot of people want to see the new Align um, uh, Cobra scale model. And uh, this one's like really cool because it, uh, it uses a plastic exterior with a fiberglass lined interior. So you get the, the strength of the, uh, uh, the fiberglass with a nice smooth uh, molded lines from uh, injection molded plastic. So that's, that's really sort of cool. Well, this one here, we've got some cockpit lights. You can get those. I installed some cockpit lights. Those are from uh, Tiny Bright Lights. And they make really good lights, but they take forever to deliver. I sent them an email from DennisRC.com, and they said, oh, if you're a dealer, we can get it out in like two days, but we make customers wait for two weeks, which I thought was sort of, sort of crappy. But uh, they do make decent lights. Uh, let's go ahead and take the cockpit off here. So it's self-contained with a little, little battery on the bottom. And then uh, in the uh, main compartment, we've got the uh, uh, sort of buried the ESC in the uh, in the battery holder to make uh, give us some clearance. And uh, it's a high voltage setup with high voltage. We're using a CCBEC Pro, uh, and then a Griffin regulator to drop down to six volts for uh, uh, for the lights. And uh, for yeah, let's go ahead and turn it on. Make sure my radio is on. Uh, let's go ahead. Powered up and uh, uh, 12 X, yeah. 1500 dollar radio doesn't go on. There we go. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and power up the power here. And uh, one of the one of the things I just couldn't resist doing after building Airwolf. And uh, Airwolf is coming up shortly. We just did our principal photography in the desert, uh, so you'll see that shortly. Um, if you look at the cannon up front, the, uh, what I've done is uh, modified it to, uh, to work. So uh, let's go ahead and see if it flies. This is our first flight. We're not going to do a whole lot because my, my thumb is still, my, my right hand is still not uh, fully functional. But uh, let's see if it's like. Dude, that thing is so smooth. It doesn't vibrate at all or anything, huh? Oh. That's the worst thing about fuselage. Is it's very hard to get res vibrations and resonances and stuff like that out of them. Oh, I love that headlight. Yeah, you can see that really nice. How about our six of them in a trade show? I just saw them there. The, the, the little do it, nice things. I said, those are so cool. Careful with your collective. Wow. <laughs> well, yeah, it's the first flight, so I'm just sort of getting used to it. Yeah, the response and stuff. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's, it's not built for speed. <laughs> yeah, it sort of. It's built for scale flight. <laughs> yeah, it sort of flies like a Cadillac, which is sort of nice. You know, for a scale flight, it. Uh, it just sounds so quiet and smooth. Little bank turn there. All right. Well, now I want to check the temperatures on it and make sure that it's not sitting up there and frying its little brains out. Considering this is the first flight.
<laughs> you scared me a little with that one. <laughs> a, you're, you're flying in a breeze, too, which makes it worse. It needs a little adjustment. The trim is off. Please come forward. But, uh... Seems to be pretty nice. Seems to be a uh, really solid flyer. And uh, yeah, now, now that it's down, you can see the uh, we've got uh, put nav lights on the left and the right. Uh, and then we've got a uh, strobe in the back, strobe on the bottom, left and right navs, another uh, solid white on the back. Uh, that's uh, Dimension Engineering. Uh, just great. You can program any kind of sequence you want into the uh, whatchamacallits. These, these up here are actually. Uh, Boots from uh, for a Kyosho uh, boat interface. Uh, they just I just slide them on there and it just uh, it's really much sort of cool. So uh, that's uh, a little trick that I got up here. Well, anyway, um, this is it. This is the uh, 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 Cobra from uh, from a line with a uh, T Rex 500 in there, and uh, seems to be a winner. Seems to be a winner. The build is real nice. If you do build this on the uh, in the tail box, the tail gear box, check to make sure that your gears don't bind against the uh, inside of the gear box. I had to use, I, I blew my first set of gears and then found out that uh, um, I had to dremel out the, uh, the gear box uh, um, holder itself uh, to clear the, uh, the teeth of the gears because it just stripped the teeth of the gears off. So anyway, um, great, great heli and thanks for watching DennisRC.com.